Hello and welcome to another EF2000 version 2 Let's Play video and this is the third mission in our campaign and we're going to bomb a runway using a Durandal bomb right before we do that we're going to look at the mission roster and see if there's anything interesting there isn't so we're going to make our own mission using the mission planner and uh, we can just browse through the targets. Now you can see there's a lot of enemy airfields, so let's pick the nearest one. We're going to have one plane in our flight group, that's just us. And we're going to select the runway and assign that to ourselves. And plot the waypoints. I'm going to change the map so it's not so bright. I like it like this. And we'll have the waypoints there and the waypoints back. And we're going to choose the nearest allotted takeoff time and check our loadout. That's our standard loadout. I think we're going to have some AMRAM missiles and some extra. Durandal bombs. So here we are. Engine if you press shift and up, S, you'll up, skip, but for some for reason up. we've just skipped straight into the air, and that can happen. So be prepared to pull up. So uh, just we'll just check the mini map, and we're heading to waypoint three, and that's the IP waypoint. Now we're just flying by ourselves today as I don't think there was enough planes to have a bigger flight group so everything hinges on this one. Now I can see there's about three or four enemy contacts heading straight for us so I'm going to keep low and keep quiet. I need to gain some speed so I put our afterburners on. And I can see this road in the minimap display, so I'm going to follow that road and follow that valley. So this is going to be a lesson in stealth. I've turned our radar off and I haven't got the music on, the electronic countermeasures. Now there's a road leading all the way up to the airfield. Now I can hear a whirring sound, that means we've been spotted. Pull up. So Pull that's not up. too good. Pull Pull I'm going to keep really low and use terrain masking to break the lock. We might be able to slip through. Warning. Radar now it's one against four or even ten planes, so <laughs> there's no way we're going to beat them all. Right, we've come Pull to up. a. Pull up. a a hill here, so we're gonna have to go over this hill. Can't go through the tunnel, unfortunately. Pull up, pull up, pull up. And off we go. Broken the lock now. You can see. Oh, Warning. and they've reacquired and they've launched a missile. I'm gonna keep really low. See if we could just up, outrun pull these planes. Up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. I'll check the other map because that displays the lay of the land or the relief of the land. As if you've uh, ever studied geography, you use that terminology. Now it's gone all quiet. 
we've lost the missile and I think they've lost us. No. Radar. If I look to our left, you can see where the plane is. It's a MiG-29. I think we can outrun this plane. We'll just keep going. I don't want to get involved with a, a fight if I can avoid it. Pull up. There's a couple of missiles on us. Eight o'clock. And they've hit the ground. I'm just going to follow this road all the way up to the enemy airfield. I'm going to speed up time where I can as well. There's more missiles at us. And we're launching chaff. It automatically dispenses them. Sometimes they might hit into the ground, the enemy plane, so we might be able to lose them that way. We're coming over this industrial site. It's a factory on the right there. And we're whizzing past these buildings at the speed of sound. Just over. If I look behind, you can see another plane. And we're coming up over another hill. Ah, so MiG-21 behind us. I think we can outrun these planes. If they get too close, they'll use their guns. So as long as they're you know, six or eight miles or more away, we'll be all right. Now there should be a valley down here. Off the burners on, and there's some contacts ahead. And these are deadly uh, planes, they're SU 35s. There's at least two of them. I'm gonna have to engage these and missile away. I'm gonna cycle targets and shoot again. Check our fuel, we've got about half a fuel tank. I'm gonna dive down here. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull up oh, it doesn't pull look good. We're surrounded up, at the pull moment. Up, pull up. Don't think coming out here on our own is such a good idea after all. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Well, if I check our missile, let's see if it locks in and hits home. Got electronic countermeasures on now. They know we're here, so we might as well use it to break any radar locks. I don't know if our missiles hit home. I had to go back into our normal view. This is pretty tense. I've reacquired a new lock and missile away. I think one of the SU-35s must be down. Because I can't see the other one. I can see in the radar display our missile's on its way. If I jump to the missile view. There it is. Boom! We've got it. And this one's going down. And it's going into ground. Right, there isn't anything between us and the airfield now, and our pursuing planes seem to have lost us because they've dropped back a bit. You can see there on the mini map where they are. And this is great news. We can have a clear run at the runway. We've got our special Durandal bombs, and we haven't used them. In this series, series of shows, they're specially designed bombs that explode deep down underneath the runway, so they can't be easily repaired. 
So I believe they've got like a rocket launcher system. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Thrust them into the ground, and then there's a second explosion Warning. that causes Radar the lock. massive crater under the runway. Right, the runway's about 18 miles to go. There's another contact heading our way. And we're being attacked by Sams. Now there's a trick to beating Sams. If you dive down a little bit and then go up, the missile can be broken quite easily. So I'm going to dive down now for a few seconds and then pull up. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. And then what the missile will do is it'll break the lock very easily. So now there's at least two or three Sams there. And there's another one launched at us. I'm going to dive down a little bit. And then, dive, and then pull up a bit. And then we've broken the lock. So that's a little trick there. What you want to do is just fly around this airfield. So we exhaust the supply of SAMs. So I'm not going to go straight to the target and drop bombs where I can. I'm just going to fly a little bit to the right and then turn around in towards it. There's the airfield and there's the runway. We're going at about 500 miles per hour. I'm going to level out and bombs away. I'm going to launch a bomb at an interval of about a second to two seconds. And that's all our Durandals launched. I'll follow one. There's one. Or just sort of miss the centre of it. I haven't got time to loiter around. I'm going to get out of here as soon as we can. I'm going to stay away from trouble where I can. There's a missile to our six. I'm going to dive down a little bit and then pull up a bit. That's enough to break the lock. There's another missile on us. If I press F12, we can see where it is. I'm going to dive down a bit again. Pull up, pull up, pull up, yeah, pull, pull up, up a bit. Pull up. So, that is definitely a very useful technique to use against SAMs if you don't have any alarm missiles. Now, there's another missile on us, so I'm going to try the same technique again. I'm going to actually use a bit of land, use this bit of land to. I'll break the lock. I'm going to dive down anyway. And then pull up a bit. Pull up, pull up, That's pull enough up, to break the lock. So, don't just rely on the automatic flare dispenser or chaff dispenser or the electronic countermeasures. You've got to do some evasive maneuvers. And we're being approached by to our left and right, so I'm going to keep our speed up, I'm going to gain some altitude because it's safe to do so almost, we can fly faster and burn less fuel as well. I'm going to check the contacts, it's another SU-35 there, and one's hit the ground. I think we're in quite a comfortable zip position here. We're flying between the converging planes. We've got some damage to our right wing there. I think we were hit by some anti-aircraft fire when we were flying over the runway. But I think that runway is pretty much out of action now. If I go to this cockpit display, you can see there's a red warning light on that means there's a lock on us but as we're flying so fast they're not going to waste a missile on us I'm gonna level out at about 45,000 feet they can see how fast we're moving now and the enemy planes they just can't keep up with us at the moment because we're we're quite light now, we've got under half a fuel tank and all our ground, air to ground bombs have been used. So we're going to fly along this coast. 
And the landing waypoint is about 160, 186 miles away. So if we can land this, we should get 100% score. <sighs> Just 10 more missions like this and we should complete the campaign. We've got about 140 engaged. miles to go. We've probably got about just under a quarter tank. So we don't have a lot of options now except to go home. We don't have enough fuel to go into a dogfight and get home. So the campaign's all about trying to complete your objective. If we press shift and F7 you can see the target and see how we've done. So yeah, it says um, good destinations there on that runway. So I, I, th I would think that would be 100% destroyed. I think if you dropped a MK83 bomb on it or just one Durandal, you won't get 100% score because not 100% of the target has been destroyed. So, as that airfield's only got run one way, one runway, it should be completely taken out. And we'll see that in a minute. Right, we can press Shift and S, and we can skip forward, and it'll land us, land the plane for us as well. So there we have it. No landing for us today. I think we've seen it enough times already. And let's check the campaign screen. We check the general stats and we still are not in control of the situation. If we move to the next screen, we have got 100% of the target destroyed. We've got two extra enemy kills and we've got a rating of 100%. Fantastic. Now, if you notice that at the beginning of the show, we, were, we had only had a rating of 37%. And if you save and go away from your computer, your rating will drop if you do go away and do something else. Now you can see the enemy airfield's on fire. That means it's out of action, so that's fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Until next time, bye-bye.